YouTubers, I really did try to keep the every Saturday thing going, but it wasn't my fault. I had to go to Greece. What's up, guys? So it is the end of day one at this amazing camp in Greece. Just having an absolute blast here. And now that dinner's over, we're gonna go have a little jam session. See you guys in a bit. What's up, YouTubers? Hope you guys are doing absolutely fantastic. As you can see from these clips, I spent the last week in Greece. I was teaching a camp there alongside Chris Coleman, Derek Roddy, George Koyas, and Mike Kapolidis. And it was absolutely epic. Smack dab in the middle of the mountains near Athens, Greece, there was this giant California dude ranch where we had this amazing camp. This year there were 45 drummers from all over the world and I gotta say it was one of the most inspiring camps that I've ever been a part of. So I put a link down below if you guys wanna get any information about maybe attending the camp next year. All right, let's get into it. This is something I think we all need to talk about. We have all experienced, myself included many times, that feeling of every time you play a groove, it's the exact same groove. Every time you sit down, it goes. It's like this prison that we're locked into and no matter what you do, you just keep playing the same exact thing. I have a solution for you. This is something I do all the time. And it doesn't mean that you have to learn new grooves. I think that's the misconception. I'm always seeing people just information hoard. They constantly are like, give me more information, more information. I'm gonna learn everything. And then they get like C minuses in 20 different things when all you really need is an A in one subject. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna take two grooves that all of you already know. We'll start with pretty much that groove I was just playing. One and two and a three e and four. And a one and two and a three and four and a one. Let's just say that's the groove that you're stuck inside of and you just can't get out of it. Every time you sit down at the kit or you play with your band, that's what you play. Instead of trying to learn an entirely new groove, just change the first four notes to something you normally wouldn't play and that groove will sound way different. So we're gonna use the first four notes of something that probably most of you don't do, which is left foot on the downbeat of one, just to throw things off a little bit. We're gonna have left foot right hand, left hand ghosted, and kick. So one E and a, two E chill and, and a four E chill and, one E and a, two E chill and, three E and a, four E chill. So I'm gonna play that basic groove, one and two and a, three E and four and a. I'll play that for four bars. And then after that, I'm gonna replace one E and a with shigadoo. That's all you did was you just added four new notes and the groove sounds so much cooler, so much cooler. Now another groove that I hear drummers play, and I definitely used to play this when I was younger, that to me sounds very monotonous is a standard paradiddle groove. It's very obvious that it's paradiddle, 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 paradiddle. Nothing wrong with that when you're learning, but at some point you want it to be a little bit cooler. You don't want it to be so obvious to the few drummers in the room that you're clearly playing standard paradiddles. So if we use this same system and replace the first four notes with left, right, left, kick, Greek yogurt and honey, that sounds good. Come on now. So like I said, you don't have to be constantly learning new grooves. Sometimes you can take those grooves that were working just fine for you and tweak them just a little bit. And for me, when I feel like I'm in a rut, instead of trying to reinvent the wheel, all I do is think, well, maybe I'll just change the first few notes. You can also use this as a way to improvise. Maybe you start your improvisational stuff in two bar phrases and it always starts with those four notes.
that's a lot of fun, and I hope you'll bring this into your play. Now, before I go, I want to give you guys a chance to choose what the next lesson is going to be. A lot of times when I put up lessons like this, there's always comments asking, hey, can you break down that thing you did at 3 minutes and 25 seconds? Really just asking if I can teach something that I just did while I was improvising, so it wasn't what the actual lesson was about. So I want you guys to comment below, give me a link of the video, and then the time of what you want me to break down. Something that I've done in the past that was in a video and I didn't necessarily teach it, it just happened while I was improvising. All right, YouTubers, so I hope you got something out of this. Remember, I give you the blueprint, but you gotta build the house. You do not have to do these four notes. You can make up any four notes you want. I just wanted you to know that instead of learning a new groove today, take something that you already play and that you already like and just change the first four notes. So go practice and I'll see you guys next time.